So students, this module is a continuation of the prior modules about link shortening. And what I will tell you in this module is that console, which you will use to do the analysis of whatever happening about the clicks with reference to your link shortening. And I will also show you how you can use those link shortening for aliasing, for creating aliases, right? Aliases which will help you more understand the clicks happening on the keywords. So let's go into more details. So uh, in this module, we'll talk about your links or my links and the analysis parts, tools and the admin part. With the admin part, you can put the tags also, which are very useful for analysis and for search. So before I go into more detail, I will give you a very short example of giving alias. So I have this alias over here. So this awesome over here, don't mind the spelling and this data to BI, this over, all of these are pointing to this address. So the point over here is that you can have over here wonderful keywords over here. You can have wonderful keywords over here, which have quite a value over the net. Okay, which which come up while searching and with this they all point to the same thing that that is the beauty of it. Try all of them. Okay, now this is my console in which I have number of links over here. Those links are listed over here. Links are listed over here. Okay, then over here is the number of clicks over here. The number of clicks. This is not a hashtag number of clicks over here and tags were not identified over here. So I can do all the analysis using, I can do the edit also, look at the statistics also. So let's look at the next screen. So I select one of that link and this link actually corresponds to this lot of, this is very texty. Okay, I have this link shortened over here and it gives me the traffic over here in the last 24 hours, 7 days, 30 days and so on. Total traffic over here. So I can do this link by link. This is for my links. Now this is the daily analytical clicks over here is the clicks. Okay. Number of clicks, number of clicks over here. And you can see over here that over here, the clicks have peaked over here and the peaks are not in these regions, maybe because of the marketing campaign over something which resulted or something else. And this is the total number of clicks over here, which I have not shown. And the traffic, is mobile traffic 58% desktop traffic so I, I, I get a fair amount of idea where my customers are where they're coming from now this is the hourly for the all the links hourly clicks this is number of clicks over here number of clicks and something which is uh, interesting there 2 p.m. the number of clicks are zero okay at zero maybe because of the lunch break at this time they are uh, zero maybe because of travel but at this time which is 11 p.m. is a high. So this is at the time in which my customers are looking at my website, looking at the links and where my customers are. Look at the locations. So this is the high percentage. This high percentage you can see over there and this high percentage correspond to this area, correspond to this to the United States and which are the top 10 cities. You can see the top 10 cities over here. This is Los Angeles over here, Los Angeles over here and the top 10 regions California state so I get all the statics where my customers are when they are visiting my website and how they are clicking when they are clicking and what time of the day and I can embed that into the Chrome extension in the Firefox browser extension and finally I can put the tags over here data analytics tag data mining tag science tag warehouse tag so I can do a lot of wonderful things with link shortening and this is all I have for you in this module. Thank you very much.